Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. I am your boy, Rion the Sad Panda. Ooh As I predicted, BSG, there you go. My man! My man! I predicted this last night when it was a three hour update that I think given that the new wipe is coming soon, it would be beneficial for them to add a little bit of content before time. They know that the servers are going to be packed. They know that it's going to be chaos at that time, probably with a lot of server meltdown. It would make obvious sense for them to bring in a couple of guns before so the servers aren't even overloaded more when everybody returns. Baby, the two guns that we currently got, the PPSH-41. So basically a submachine gun that uses the ammo of a TT. Prep or level two, you can buy the 35 rounder and you can buy the actual gun. Very simple, very good. There you go. Easy to do. Next in line, bought a trade for four weapon parts, prep or level three, these bad boys. Unfortunately, because it's a new gun, a lot of people bought out all the mags and now if you want to buy one of these bad boys off the flea markets, it's 500,000. You heard me correctly, 500,000, which is just bloody stupid. Another pistol that is amazing. M1911, Peacekeeper level 2. Very good, as you can see, I just got it. Woo, baby, I'm going to take all of these into a horde mode on factory. Let's see what we can do in terms of ammo. There's only one ammo that you can use for this currently, the 0.45 FMJ. Any ammo that a TT can use. At this time, there's two ammo that I would suggest. The PST GZH is the most pen in terms of armor class, so the very early, I would say, class 3 armors. So you might even be able to get through a face shield with this, or if you want to go more for a leg meta type, ammo i would definitely be using the lnr pc that you can buy from jaeger so that has got a lot more damage but a lot less pen unfortunately most of the tt rounds cannot really penetrate more than level one armor so the one that really stands out for me is this one so i'll definitely be using this let's go into it see you just there right now Ooh, here we go so i set it on horde mode tagged and cursed so i should be swamped pretty quick pretty easy the vertical recoil of the submachine gun is 47 47 oh wow okay so let's do that hey boys let's see hello That's one on the win. Hello. Recall's pretty decent. Look at that. It actually does not do too much damage. Any armor, and you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> That's not good. If you're gonna use this, you better go for legs. Legs or face. Legs or face, or you're gonna strong out. Even with the slightest armor. Let's see. Legs. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, do I have... No, I don't. Pistol time. It's only a second round club, so you're gonna have to bring in a few. One on Suka. So this gun obviously works much better if you go for the face while the submachine gun is much better at the legs. Jason nearly killed me. 
Let's go, baby. gentlemen just a quick brief example of what it looks like so the submachine gun the pen is terrible like you could see they didn't even have much armor maybe a class 2 3 armor and i couldn't pen it so it's much better to go for the legs the accuracy of that gun is pretty decent with a vertical recoil of 47 pistol looks bloody decent even though it uses fmj's 71 max that's pretty good Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your boy, Rion the Sad Panda. Like I always say, gentlemen, let us goi, man, let us goi. Thank you so much for the support. Follow me on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter at Rion the Sad Panda, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.